hope that you are having a crafty day today. Um, I have a couple of the unfinished projects knocked out that I want to show you. And then I actually made another um, journal as well. <clears throat> I had nine on my unfinished list on all the projects that I didn't have made. I did the video. Uh, I found two more. Uh, altered bags that need journals so brought me up to 11 unfinished projects uh, and then one of the ladies over at Sophie's Notes was talking about her um, we did a journal page swap and she didn't have it put together or finished yet so that I don't either I have them bound but I've never made a cover uh, I have well I should say I have part of them bound already and I have a part of them that aren't so that was another unfinished project she reminded me of <laughs> when she said she didn't have hers done so anyway got uh, guys the projects just keep getting and and I probably have no tell how many in the basement packed away in a tub but that was just what was uh, up here uh, in my craft room and in my spare room so uh, anyway uh, I knocked two out, so that will bring me down to nine now, since I had eleven. Uh, well, I did the Slender Journal, so that brings me to uh, eight. So I have three finished. This one needed the cover, and I've got the cover on it. This one needed the journal, and I have the journal made, and I actually add a little bit more to the cover. So, But anyway, uh, I had a lady. I uh, have an uh, antique shop I frequent in a little town near me. And she wanted a junk journal. She she didn't know what junk journals was because I buy laces and things. And she was wanting to know what I did with them. And uh, anyway, I told her and some old ephemera. Um, anyway, when I was purchasing it, she wanted to know what I did with it. And so she didn't know what that was. So uh, she has since, though, been on the Internet and, and found what junk journals was. But anyway, I'm on my way today to um, show her some that I've got made. And... Uh, these will be in the Etsy shop this weekend if I have anything left. I'm not sure if she'll want any of them or, or what. But what I have left out of the three today will go up in the Etsy shop this weekend uh, if, if I have anything left. So uh, anyway, this one is the one, the unfinished project that actually needed the um, cover. So what I did was I made a fabric cover. And this is all some vintage lace. This is actually all laces that has come from her shop. Uh, as far as this, not not the little medallion, but uh, uh, this big lace here I just purchased from her. This little um, uh, eyelet trim here I purchased from her. So a lot of this is stuff that I have purchased, and the ephemera on the inside is that that I've purchased from her. So anyway, I just made it a fabric, like I said, a fabric um, cover. Just use some some uh, like a linen. It's not really a muslin, it's just kind of like a linen um, tie. And then um, I just added a pocket. I've just glued that pocket in and added a little um, tag there. This is just a lot of collaging in this. These are some of those vintage tickets that I have in the shop, and I've just cut that part off, tore it off. Um, and added it. Now this is some of the ephemera that I actually got from her. Uh, that's so fun. This actually is State Bank of Lebanon. And, uh, of course, Lebanon is where I live. Lebanon, Missouri. And, um, anyway, I got that from her shop. And I actually have that as a digital download in, in my shop. Um, I've added one of these old Cowan, Cowan tickets here. And this is one of the vintage um, Rolodex cards. Um, they tour in the shop still. And I added this um, old ledger. I purchased an old ledger book. It's huge. And it's like 1901, 1889 and 1901, something like that. And so the pages are kind of brittle. So I actually had to put fabric. Uh, I had to actually glue it to some fabric to be able to make a page. Because it would fall apart. You couldn't bend it. I did, however, get some of these in the shop as a digital download. They are just so cute. Um, but anyway, there is that, and I've got that throughout the book. Here's some of those numbered 
I have some of them still left in the shop. I only have them in the white, though. I don't have them in the cream. I didn't have very many of these uh, creamed ones, so I couldn't really put them in the shop. And just uh, made uh, a little collage there. Used some of the Tim Holtz um, photo. Oh, his little... Uh, I don't even know if they make these anymore. Film strip ribbon. I've had that for years. And uh, anyway, I just kind of put that there on the tab. Here's just another little collage, a Pinterest image. Here's some more of that uh, ephemera. Uh, this is the Fritz Brothers Fine Cigars. Now, I did copy mine on copy dyed paper. I just like the way it looks. I've done that for a long time now. And I do it on photos. I do it on nearly everything. I always uh, copy it on the coffee stained paper. I just like the way it looks. And so uh, there is that. It is also in the shop as a download. And there's some more of that ledger. It is so nice. But like I said, it is brittle. So, And this is not a, a, a copy. It is the real deal. So I had to... That's why I had to... Uh, adhere it to some fabric. Here is another uh, piece of ephemera that is from her shop that uh, I purchased and of course I don't know if I have that as a download or not. I can't remember. I've got several pieces in there and I've got several more to get in there uh, that I just haven't yet. Here is just a little booklet I've made with some of this ephemera. I actually got this from one of the ladies at Sophie's Notes as well had gifted me. Uh, I did copy, make copies, and uh, I don't have the original in here. I just made a copy of it. Here is an old purchase order that I made the booklet out of, and it's just, just for journaling. Just for journaling. <coughs> of course, my copy dyed glassine bag. And then I did a little collaging there. And then this here is a fun piece. Now, I do have this as a download in the shop. And actually, I have it as a trifold. Um, this one, I just copied the front. But on the other, I actually have the three that you could actually do a trifold. And I did that somewhere. I don't know if I could find it or not. But I just thought it was fun. Since I, this book here, I'm just trying to get it. Um, uh, I wanted the really this journal to be all about the ephemera. That's where I went with that. Let me see if I can find... Okay, I found it. Um, this is what this is, and I put this in as a download in the shop. It will copy off on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. The only thing is, I have copied this on my coffee stained paper, so that's why it looks so um, grunged. If you just copy it on, you know, white or cream, it's not going to have all this uh, mess in it. So, uh, anyway, that, that will be the difference. But it makes a really cute journaling trifold. How cute is that? And look at that writing. I love it. I love the penmanship. So, anyway, that is a download in the shop. And uh, I added it here. And then I just have some collaging. Cowan and Bryant is an old um, merchant store uh, that uh, is in Richland, Missouri. That's not far from me. So all this is vintage here. And then I made a raggedy as well out of a flash card. Just one of the tall flash cards. This here is just a little flip. I didn't put anything in. It's just a place for journaling. Whoops. Well, my fingers are just like better today. Okay. And then this here is an old is an old Frisco time uh, service time report or daily report. <coughs> delay report. Excuse me. And I've just covered over the writing and made it a place for journaling. It is Frisco. I have that in the shop as well. I have a lot of ephemera in the shop, and that's the real deal there, though. They're not copies or downloads. That's the real thing there that I'll have in the shop. And then I made another little another little uh, booklet just out of this one here. Just 
And I may do some stitching on that. It looks kind of plain. I'm going to leave that out so I remember to do that. It's more of that ledger. Another piece of just a um, place to journal here. In my little vintage Rolodex cards. There's the other piece of that ephemera. And then here is a little uh, vintage envelope. 1906. And I've just um, folded it um, and put the backing there for journaling. Here's another little piece of ephemera that I have in the shop. Once again, it's it's on coffee dyed paper, so. And then here is a little collage as well. Um, I have these as a download in the shop right here. And then more collage, more collaging, and there's some of that ephemera. And there is, and I think I missed the other part of that envelope because I had tore it off. Oh, here it is. I didn't even show it. This is the other side of that envelope where I had uh, the back that you could write on tucked in that pocket. And that is the original. It has the little two cent stamp there. So anyway, guys, it's just fun. Just a fun little ephemera journal. That's what that is. Okay, so then I got this one knocked out. This was my little bag journal. I had the bag, but I didn't have the journal. And um, this, of course, is the freezer paper that I made a bag out of and uh, put the little waxy uh, side to the inside. Now, that little waxy side won't coffee stain, but the papered side will. And I was just um, um, coffee dyeing. I was out of parchment, and I just thought, well, I'll just use freezer paper. And that's what gave me the idea. It stained up so well that I just loved it. And here is the little journal that sits in it. This is Chow Bella's, um, I believe it's Bricotta Estense is what it's called. Um, and it is one of the papers from Italy. Now I ordered this probably from the Frantic Stamper, I imagine that's where it came from because she carries a lot of these um, international papers, international to the US papers. And um, Perrette, one of the ladies here on YouTube, uh, sent me her way. And uh, she always has the, the good papers from, uh, like I said, international papers. So um, here I just did a little collaging on a, on a uh, graph paper there. The images are really cute. The only thing that I can tell you about the papers are that... They do repeat a lot, so you don't really get a lot of images. They're beautiful, but um, you don't get a lot of different images um, from this uh, Chow Bella. Because, like I said, the images just really repeat themselves. But they are beautiful. I will say that. They are beautiful. And then here is just a little tag that I've made. I took a little white gesso. And I gessoed this glassine bag to have a little white in it. And then here I've just got some of that pretty blue ribbon. My Tiffany & Company stamp I used here and stamped it on some fabric. And then just another little place for journaling. And then did some collaging there as well as there. And then this I used, I've had these forever, these little weekly trifold time cards. I believe that I actually had SM Tiffany Lane send me some of these. I have purchased some before, but um, I believe it was SM Tiffany Lane had sent me uh, a couple of these. And that is one of them that I used from that. And then here is another little booklet a lot of places for journaling they're not very big of course when you put the 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 bag journal uh, when you make a bag journal you cannot make them very big because 
um, they will not fit in your bag. This one here was pushing the pushing the envelope anyway. So there is my little um, bag journal. So that was my uh, second thing that I've got, uh, uh, or my third project finished from my 11. <laughs> And my goal is to get them all done by the end of June. Don't know if I'm going to make that goal, but I'm really going to try. This is the brand new journal I made uh, that is going. It is a farm themed. It is a chunky monkey. I uh, did just a doily on the cover. I actually started with an old bank bag, that old canvas bank bag. And I just, you can see it here. And I wished, I I never know what I'm going to do on a cover. I just never know. I do the journal first, I get it bound, and then I work on my cover. So I wish that I had uh, put the, the writing from the bank, the money bag, on the inside. But I did not because I was actually going to. I thought I would probably just use that. <laughs> as the cover so and just work around the lettering but it didn't end up that way I ended up collaging all over this whole thing I added a button here on the back I've just tied it with some sorry silk just have a little collage on the back I did use the Prima farmhouse uh, some of its paper in here as well as the tags and then I had purchased, and I don't know if this is called the ephemera pack or what, but I had purchased this. Uh, me and the kids uh, uh, made a trip to Kansas City over Memorial Day weekend, and I went to the scrapbook store there. One of the ladies on Instagram uh, told me about Vintage in KC, and I loved it. It is such a cute little store. I bought some really pretty papers that I'm going to be using or tags. Uh, that I'm going to be using later on and it's from a company international company I believe it's Sweden Sweden is where I got the the paper is from so I can't wait to get something made with that but I've got to knock my uh, things out as well I've got my goal going to June so uh, but I am going to be doing that and it, they're beautiful papers beautiful images on the tags so anyway if you're down that end Anywhere near Overland Park, Kansas, or because um, it's actually in Shawnee, Kansas, is where it's at. But um, you know, all that is kind of just together anyway. Uh, but it is beautiful. It is a beautiful little store. She had so much to offer, and uh, really nice, nice people in there. And her shop was booming too. I mean, it was booming. <laughs> there was a lot of people in there. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is my farmhouse journal that I'm taking today as well um, I did print this off of Pinterest I believe I got this off Pinterest the farmers almanac 1896 and I just made a little booklet out of it that's just so fun 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 look there and that sits in this little pocket and I just did a lot of collaging. It's got the vintage buttons. I see I need to put a little piece of my glue didn't stick. And guys, I'm going to do that real quick. I know this isn't a like a tutorial, but I got the glue right here. And I really don't want to forget to stick that down. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> that needs stuck down. So uh, anyway, this is my front. And this is the back, and like I said, I just did some collaging. This is that Prima, that Prima, and I, I just left this. I didn't do a lot of collaging on the back, so. All right, so to go into the inside, and this is so fun. Um, this here is a collage. This is a vintage button, and this thing is beautiful and worked perfectly. Look at that vintage button. And it is the porcelain, or the mother of pearl, whatever that is. That is beautiful. I made a couple of little tags here to go in the, there's nothing on the back, they'll be just for journaling. Here is the holes, even the original holes that was in that bank bag. I love it. And then uh, this is a two signature uh, journal. And here is the Prima Farmhouse paper. These are just Pinterest images, but so fun. Here is one of the tags from Prima's, where you can buy the 4x6 cards. 
and I've got Smile. Here is a, and like I said, this is just everything farm. That's what I wanted it to be. And then here is just a little tri-fold journaling, journaling um, paper. And then here is where I printed off on fabric um, the uh, Prima Farmhouse. Uh, this came from the paper. I just actually uh, cut that out and then scanned it and then turned around and printed it on the, on the uh, fabric. And then here is some of that also that come from that ephemera pack. <clears throat> now I took the tags and I thought I had an idea when I was doing this I actually thought what if you could make a journal let me grab this and I may do this, this may be on my to-do list what if I made a journal using these journaling cards like this and putting the old photos on there how fun would that be uh huh I had that idea as I was going I thought that would be perfect if you could do a hidden hinge or something like that or even the fabric and just make a journal adding photos to your to these really pretty um, cards journaling note cards is what they're called so anyway that was an idea I had when I was when I was adding the photos to those here's a collage just fussy cut that out a little more that's from that uh, ephemera pack Here's just some parchment that's been uh, coffee stained, and I just did some collaging on it as well. I got a little horse with an old hay, uh, a bunch of hay stacked on the on the car on the buggy's cart or uh, horse's cart. This here is just an envelope that I have, uh, of course, coffee stained. It's got one of the Prima note cards on it, and then I've actually attached it to the paper. And then I have got a little, little journaling book in it. Fun, fun, fun. I love those. They're so easy. When you tear those pages, it just makes a journal to me come alive. And it, uh, now I know not everybody likes torn edge, torn edge papers. Now I know that. But I love the messiness of it. I love the, um. I just love it. You don't have to be precise. It's all just kind of torn and <clears throat> I love it. And then I've also copied that on some fabric and put it as a little a little tip in. Here is um, just some journaling paper there. Just sticks under this little Prima. Here is another little, like little journaling book and it actually if I was going to write in it I would go this way with it and uh, but to get the little the little uh, sorry silk on the edge I had to flip it the other way and this is just a little a little guy and his dog out fishing with an old stick pole I thought was cute here is another tag and this is what I was talking about making a journal out of these little cards because look how cute that is. I love it. Um, you wouldn't even have to pre-cut your, um, your uh, things. It'll already be done. And those books aren't that expensive at all. Uh, but anyway, that's something I may do. I may make a journal out of those later on. That's uh, on my to-do list now. And then here I've just um, added two craft bags in the center of the two signatures. And they can hold the photos or receipts or just whatever. You can add your own photos there. I thought would be fun. So anyway, those are just empty bags there. Empty bags. But lots of places to put your own, your own uh, memorabilia. So, and then here is the second signature. Uh, uh, loving every moment. And that is another... Um, one of Prima's out of that ephemera pack. I wished I had actually bought two of those. Here's another one of the note cards that I've just added. This was actually in that ephemera, that ephemera pack. I see a little glue there. Um, 
And I love this. It's do everything with love and you will be blessed. And look at them little kids there on that old wooden fence. Isn't that cute? I love that. Probably probably uh, right by the barn for the, the gate for the cattle, how they did. And here is just another collage. And then I've got this little boy here with a little dog. It's so cute. Everyday beauty. And this is, um, I believe that came out of the ephemera pack too. I believe. And that goes there. Here is a, like a double collage. This was separate in the ephemera pack. And this was. And I kind of just, I cut this down because I didn't like so much of the edging being white. And this as well. And I just kind of glued, glued them together to kind of collage those. I like how it came out. And then here's a little journaling paper. And then here is a little collage with a little rabbit. This here is really a chunky book, but I love how it came out. This is another um, envelope. Here is a little lady in the corn field. Looks like she's got some corn in her hand. And then I've got another little torn journal here. Just a messy little journal. I love these kids. I love their face. <laughs> I think they're so cute. And that just sits in the envelope. And of course I tied all that yummy ribbon on there so it can stick out. And then here is another little cute little collage. It's got chickens in the front yard. So cute. And then here I've added the old days and just another little image. There's a cow. I kind of covered him over, but and another trifold um, journaling spot there, journaling paper. And here is another one of the tags. That says organic, fresh and healthy. And there's some little kids with the chickens. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I love that. And um, this is actually some old paper that I got. Not old paper. I picked up at my local um, office supply. They had it on the clearance. And then uh, here is another just an old farmhouse. And I put such a beautiful life. And I put it on the parchment. Here's another one of the um, uh, images from Prima's paper that I just copied on this um, fabric. Here is an Olay away, not an Olay tag, but a layaway tag, and I've got local grown. That's in that ephemera pack, and here's just a library card that I've put together there. And we are at the end. And here's the old farmhouse with a horse in the front yard. And I've just got them set in there, did my collaging there. Absolutely love, love this book. Love how it came out. It is my favorite. Oh, I have so many favorites. <laughs> this one might be my favorite so far, as far as the, uh, the contents. I love the old farmhouse. So anyway, guys, this is um, my Chunky Monkey Journal. And like I said, I've got my uh, 11 projects now down to 8. So working on getting those out. These will be in the shop. I will have some of these in the shop, whatever I have left when I come back. Um, so, uh, anyway, what did I do with that other, oh, yeah, and this one. Uh, whatever uh, uh, comes back from uh, my trip today will be in the shop this weekend. So, guys, have a great a weekend ahead. Hopefully, you'll have a beautiful Weekend where you're at, I think uh, we're calling for some rain here. More rain, I know. Unbelievable. Uh, but uh, so much flooding everywhere. It's just crazy this year. So uh, anyway, guys, have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll catch you in the next video.